Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is People with an amazing partner, what makes them so amazing? She is self-aware. Says things like, I may have been being selfish. You have a good point. And I'm sorry. I do the same and try to admit my faults, and stop on a dime in an argument and say I'm sorry, I'm being unreasonable, let's back up. In essence we both are pretty good at admitting and accepting each other's and our own frailties. It's rare to be with a partner like that. Also, she has a hilarious laugh and sense of humor, and though she doesn't feel so, she's hilarious. He brings me coffee in bed. Every. Single. Morning. It's been 8 years and in that time I've made coffee twice. It's gotten to the point that I'm not even sure how to properly use the machine anymore. If he wakes up before me, he'll wait until a reasonable hour and then I wake up with the smell of coffee beans beside the bed. If we've had an argument, he brings me coffee and then quietly leaves the room. If he has to go out of town, he makes the coffee and puts it in an 8HR mug before he goes. Mornings are my favorite. My husband is genuinely interested in everything I do, no matter how mundane it is. When I dragged him to three different stores to find a specific mascara, he asks about what makes it so great and then will geek out and read up about cosmetic formulations. When I told him a certain lip patch helped heal my cracked nipples from breastfeeding, he started reading up over other potential breastfeeding injuries and how people handle them. He doesn't do it to lord his expertise over me or anything, he's genuinely excited to just ask me about everything. Oh and he started giving me daily massages when I was pregnant and I still get them now. Our daughter is 3. Simple because no matter what, I never doubt in my mind that he loves me more than anything. I never worry about him leaving slash cheating on me. I can be my complete, authentic self around him. Even when we fight, I know it's just a temporary tip that we'll talk about later when we've cooled down. But, most of all, I know that whatever he's doing or wherever he is, He'll always stop it to drive however far to come help me if I'm in a bad situation slash mood. Not many people have a partner like that, so I'm sincerely grateful that I lucked out in finding mine. The way he still looks at me. When I get out of the shower and there's lunch waiting for me. How some nights he wakes up in the middle of the night and pulls me closer to him because I've moved too far away or even when he pulls me closer in all situations. How he lays in bed with me every morning even though he'd rather go sit on the couch and wake up. The sacrifices he makes for me every day. That he tries his best to make sure I am smiling. He's always there when I need him no matter the time or place. There are so many things that he does every day to let me know he loves me. Ah. He is just a perfect match for me. We have our rough times and we get frustrated with each other but he always treats me with kindness, respect, and love no matter what mood he is in. We always make sure to communicate our problems and at the end of most days we go to bed with a smile on our faces. I randomly whistle a 4 to 6 notes tune in my head when doing random errands. And lately she's been guessing with about 60 to 70% success rate. It's cute when she tries hard and she lights up with this glow when she gets it right. No one gets me but her. Married in our teens and about to celebrate our 14 year anniversary. My disability was flaring up in a way that prevented me from showering. She marched into the shower with me, washed my hair, and my body, expected nothing in return, and when standing up became too much she sat on the floor of the shower with me and held me. Accepting me for every. Single work. I was pretty pessimistic about relationships when we went on our first date so I am lucky that I have never faked one situation or personality or even had to present my best self. Best example, 
I had an ex that I thought was perfect for me. I'm a fucking weirdo so once I meowed at him. He told me not to do that. I meow at my now fiancé and he meows right back. The security of being loved, never having to doubt or wonder what's he doing knowing he's talking about me, us, and the life ever built. It's the endless love spell I'm in, the forever awe uh of -uh, pinch me, is this real? There's not many good ones out there, and I'm lucky to have mine. He tells me how much he loves me every chance he gets. He spoils me, yet he can call out my bullshit so gently when I am wrong. He doesn't manipulate me. He admits when he makes mistakes and is quick to apologize. He grocery shops and does all the cooking because I'm awful at it. He compliments me, but not just my physical appearance, he compliments my strengths, statements like you're so good at. He's an amazing father and our children adore him. He's fucking amazing in bed. I hit the jackpot with him and I am so lucky. My long-term GF heard online that oftentimes the only time a man receives flowers are at his funeral. She's bought me flowers several times since then. And it kills me every time. That's only one of the many adorable considerate things I love about her. He used to come across as closed off and mysterious and cool until we got together and now he grabs my face and goes my baby, and he scratches my back when we hug and he squeals out of excitement when we're together. He rubs my back when I cry and he gives me little kisses all over my face to make me giggle and when he doesn't want to talk he lets me lie on his lap or under his shirt, he wiggles his toes when he's trying to sleep and he doesn't know that he has the cutest sleeping face ever. He makes me little gifts like a small sewed rat and a monster can planter, he knows exactly what I like and he's so so thoughtful with what he gives me and what he does for me. I don't know how I can ever truly pay him back for everything he does for me but I truly hope I get to spend the rest of my life with him. I never thought I could care about someone as much as I care about him, he's genuinely the sweetest and kindest person in the whole world and I never ever expected it 3. OMG, I have a list of notes as to reasons why I love my boyfriend all saved up in my phone. Someday I'm going to gift them to him somehow. While the big things matter very much, like how our whole relationship he has helped and stuck by me through a disability, it's also all the little things that matter every day. He prefers onion rings over french fries. However, when we go out to eat together, he will pick fries as a side with his meal so he can share them with me since I don't like onion rings. In the mornings, he will block my hand with his so the dog can't lick my hand and wake up up. He sees when my phone charge is low and will bring me a charger even when I didn't realize it. Whenever he has the cheese out, he sets aside a slice for me. When he gets out of bed, he turns his pillow towards me knowing I'm going to steal it. If I pour myself more milk than I can finish, he drinks the rest so I don't feel bad about wasting it. I couldn't go out in the snow once, so he went out and drew hearts in the snow that I could see from the window. He'll sing songs to the pets, dance around the kitchen, squeak when he laughs, use the oven mitt like a dinosaur, and say ah while playing Animal Crossing. He sends me memes, and twirls the same piece of hair in the front of his head when he's distracted. He's amazing. I'm charmed by him every single day. It's pretty new, but he's not afraid to show he cares. He doesn't hold back from letting me know what he's thinking. He had a late night last night, and we're both usually up pretty early. He woke up to text good morning and that he's going back to sleep, but just wanted to make sure he said hi at our regular time. It's all these supposed little things that add up to something pretty great. She's loving, supportive, caring and generous. She always checks in with me to see how I'm doing. She loves to offer to do things for me, compliments me, and boosts my confidence. She tells me multiple times a day she loves me and why. She tells me what she appreciates about me on the regular. She encourages me to take risks or to splurge and have fun. I've been on this earth over 30 years and always scoffed at people who said my partner is my best friend, she's the first to show me what that means. 
TW slash slash mentions of suicide ideation and depression. My boyfriend does what he can to help me through my depressive episodes, brought me food when I was too depressed to eat, contacted my family when I was suicidal, cares about all my pets and family, is genuinely interested in the things I like. He always calls me out on my bullshit, which made me more considerate about people's feelings and not prone to saying hurtful things whenever I'm angry. I feel respected in this relationship and have grown a lot. My partner is the kindest and most down-to-earth person I've ever met. He is so kind to everyone he meets and works with, and he always has a good attitude about things, even when life is difficult. He always encourages me to stay in college and go for any goal I want. I can't imagine my life without him. His patience. He respects me and shows me he loves me every day. He hasn't raised his voice to me in seven years, as long as we have been together. He knows how to say no firmly and gently, and accepts it when I say it. He smiles at me, remembers little things, noticed my preferences. He brags about me and shares his innermost thoughts with me. He noticed when I'm tired, or need some TLC. He will see something that is my style, and point it out, and is almost always right. My favorite thing he does is our date night music. He noticed that I liked classical music and plays it as we drive to our date. Sort of a sign that this is special, I want to step up the mood. Most nights, when I go to bed, he sets up the bed, gets the fan going, we sleep in arctic temps, and has a glass of something to drink on my nightstand. We fall asleep many nights holding hands. So many wonderful and amazing things to mention, but I'll simply say this. In my most impassioned dreams and fervent hope to meet someone special to share my life with, I could not have imagined a partner who continues to surpass all desires for a fulfilling relationship. He doesn't take himself too seriously, and is always being goofy with me. He does everything in his power to reassure me and take care of me and the baby we're having soon. I have absolutely no doubt how much he loves me. He's not embarrassed to show his love for me in front of people. He's so generous and helpful. He's the guy who is willing to help anyone who needs it. He got the nickname Superman at an old grocery job because he was the first to jump into action to help resolve issues from little things like coupon disputes to an actual gunfight. Her intellect. When I met her 30 years ago there was fierce physical attraction between both of us, but what won me over was her brilliant mind. She is the smartest person I have ever met. Quick wit, a great conversationalist, and turned out to be the best mother to our daughter that I could have ever asked for. She is very loving and caring and puts family before almost everything. Two years ago I lost my father to the Delta variant of COVID-19. It was the worst experience of my life. I don't know what I would have done with her strength and support. I didn't think I would make it through the funeral, but having someone you trust completely walking with you step by step makes a huge difference. I hope you all have a partner as good as mine to share your lives with. I could go on about him but he'll only pick a couple just to save time. Before we got together he sat on the phone with me while I cried after finding out I was being cheated on. He stayed on the phone with me all night and I am completely confident that he saved my life that night because I was so devastated. He's so patient with me. I have a lot of sensory issues and when I'm really overwhelmed or stressed out ABTSMTH I can get kind of snippy and he's always calm about the situation and will help me figure out ways to calm down. We've never fought because of this and I think that's easily one of the best things about him. I can get kind of aggressive when I'm upset, and yes I always apologize to him afterwards because I feel guilty, yet he's never mad at me and understands that this is something I'm trying to fix, but can't quite get there yet. When he's tired and we are cuddling in bed he'll lay his head on my chest, even though he's a foot taller than me, and will let me stroke his hair until he falls asleep. He spends time with my parents and friends and actively enjoys hanging out with them. I've never had a partner that likes my friends before and will talk to them for hours like he does. 
He makes every day feel special and important. We could stay at the house all day and it would still feel important to me because I got to spend it with him. We've only been together five months, but if this is what forever will look like then sign me up. We truly communicate. No buried resentments or passive aggressive nonsense. If there's an issue, we talk about it. We support each other. We legitimately want each other to be happy, but we don't fall into the self-sabotage serving the other while not taking care of our own individual needs because we communicate when we feel overwhelmed and in need of personal space slash time, see above. In somewhat less serious talk, I make her laugh and she makes me roll my eyes, but in an endearing way. We find ways to keep the romance alive and have times where there is more sappy, in love romance now than there even was when we started dating. When I have a shitty day she makes it a little less shitty. When she has a shitty day, I do the same. Just the knowledge that at least one person on this planet has your back, no matter what else goes wrong. Also, laughing like kids about the most random stuff. She always finds a silver lining in every situation. Every time I've felt down and uninspired, she always has a new fun fact or witty phrase. She is the most creative and beautiful person I've ever met. He is totally trusting and trustworthy in a very important way. Now, he's not perfect this way. He is notorious, in my mind, for saying he will be ready to leave the house at X hour, but then he is there playing on his phone in his PJS 5 minutes before we are supposed to leave. And sometimes he will say we will definitely do one thing but then, when someone else enters the picture, a friend or relative, let's say, and wants something else, he changes things and doesn't really acknowledge that he said something different to me before. But he is honest in these important ways. First, he doesn't truck in casual dishonesty. If he is late to meet me, or anyone else, he doesn't make up some excuse about traffic or having an emergency, he just apologizes for being late, no excuses. I find that most people spend their days making little excuses for this or that. They forgot to do A, they didn't do B because they just didn't feel like it, they couldn't get to C because they did something stupid before, but they never actually say the real reason, they cover it up. He makes those same mistakes but he admits it. I really like that I don't have to decode what he is saying all the time. Another example is that we both have a fair number of friends of the opposite sex, and this is never ever an issue, even when we were living apart for years and only saw each other every three to six weeks. He could tell me he was doing whatever or talking to one of his female besties on the phone for hours and I had no issues at all. I knew he might end up having feelings for someone else, but I knew he would tell me before anything happened. I actually love that he has female friends because he can really talk to them about stuff in his life, personal things. He has a lot of close male friends but they aren't really talkers that way. He should have someone he can talk to about this stuff that isn't his wife or his mom. Similarly, it never bothered him that I had all these male friends, I work in a field that is mostly men and that's just who I meet to make friends with over the years. I would hang out with them, stay over at their houses, we would share hotel rooms at conferences. It literally never occurred to him for this to be an issue. I think just trusts me. He knows things happen in life and sometimes people meet other people they like when they are already with someone else. But he trusted me to never act on it while I was still in a relationship with him. And I felt the same way because he never gave me any sense that I should feel otherwise. He's never secretive. He's a completely open book. He always answers his phone, call or text, even if he's busy just to tell me he's busy and needs to get back to me. When we were apart he would tell me about his entire day. It was impossible for me to think he was cheating on me because I felt like I knew where he was pretty much at all times and he never felt like he needed to hide. In my experience, having someone this open and honest about both the big and little stuff is very rare. Even most of my best friends that I've known my whole life are secretive in some ways with me or casually dishonest. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, 
consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.